Hi guys, I'm Alex and in this video I will share with you my progress of our Microsoft Flight Simulator Jetpack Aircraft Project JW1. That is carbon fiber personal aircraft with uh, 4 engines, 90 pounds of thrust each, takeoff weight about 350 pounds, amount of fuel enough for 25 minutes of full thrust flight. We are still working on model, textures and animation, so you can notice a lot of visual issues. So this time I would like to focus on hovering mode and flight model. I will review takeoff and landing methods and also flight controls. While you on the ground, you can control your pitch, bank and heading angles, regardless of engine RPM value. In the air, if engine's RPM value higher than 50%, stabilization will be active to help you hover. To take off, you just need to raise throttle and wait until lift off. While you airspeed less than 80 knots, hovering stabilization is active. To stop, just leave the stick and script will minimize your movement automatically. Also, it allows you to control movement manually, forward afterward for pitch, left right for side movement, pedals for heading. But still, script does not control altitude, so you need to compensate vertical speed manually. Now let's try to switch into horizontal flight. For that, during hovering, raise the throttle and push the stick forward, so you will start to gain air speed. Stabilization will become weaker and at 80 knots disappear completely. You are in free flight right now. This is an ultralight aircraft and it has very sensitive controls. Be careful during maneuvers as you can easily stall after inaccurate action. Smokes enabled by default during horizontal flight. Maximum airspeed is 180 knots. Be careful to not reach this limit or controls become even more unpredictable. Let's return to the base. This aircraft does not have a landing chute yet, so your only options crash or switch into hovering mode. Let's try the second one. Hold air speed between 100 and 150 knots, so you can control aircraft easily. When you close enough, Lower the throttle and pull the stick, so you will start to lose airspeed. After you reach 70 knots, raise the throttle to maximum and keep pulling the stick. Because of engine's thrust, you will pitch up and lose all the airspeed. Same time, engines will reach maximum RPM and stabilization will be activated. Now use manual controls to land smoothly. That's all for now. It's still in development, so keep an eye on updates, check website news, follow us on Facebook, join our Discord. If you have experience in the aircraft testing or editing, you can ask for a beta tester role in our Discord. Same for many creators. If you are making reviews or streaming, or maybe you are a developer, reach me on Discord and you will get access to all our payware or work-in-progress stuff.